What is my barrier to entry? What technology will I need to have so that I can access the cloud to have this amazing computer at my fingertips? Just a browser. And that browser can uh, be on any device. Hmm. You only need to be able to identify yourself, okay. and then you're on your virtual cloud computer. Really? And now, how are you uh, alleviating the stress of bandwidth that may limit some of the folks up to the cloud? It's a great question because uh, this is a, um, it should be called a streaming OS or a meta OS because we're only streaming the pixel differences. We are leaving the applications where they are, we're leaving the data where they are, we just connect it all mm -hmm. in one unified experience, for which, which makes it uh, the GUI easier. No passwords, okay. no download of applications, no uninstallation of applications because you're running out of space. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're first talking to and helping developers and they will create fantastic user experiences but we're helping them with this tool so that they can do this and what then through your, 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 your process over the next 12 months if you don't mind yes so we're doing the ICO from Norway and in Norway mm -hmm. and Norway is transparent right so in Norway you have to report more as a private I've heard, company I've heard things about Norway yeah <laughs> we're, we're, we're actually quite democracy exactly. country and there's no thumb holding us down because we don't have foreign debt right and and we have the the min the the least distance between poor and rich hmm. in, hmm. in the western world interesting so it's a very flat society it's a social democracy right so it's the values that we like and i believe the the viewers here that's the values we want hmm. so the transparency level in norway is such that a private company has to disclose more than a public company has to disclose in the US. That means all token holders can look me in the cards at all times. And that's good. Transparency is a friend. Blockchain is for transparency. Hey, speaking of transparency, with your with your coin, what I'd like to know is how what are you tying the, the how are you tying the value to your coin? Yes. So it is uh, the utility of it is a membership, so you can uh, use this network for free. Uh, peer to peer, people can download the friend core mm -hmm. and share resources and learn tokens peer to peer. Okay. So that's the free part of it. Nice. So we connect all of these great decentralized technologies and we connect their tokens with our token in a token token integration, mm -hmm. like Omezi Go, for example. And then uh, in the friend store, which is a marketplace on top of the network, mm -hmm. it's an agnostic marketplace, just like a Google Play and mm -hmm. Apple Store, etc. But it's cheaper, okay. and it can also accept fiat. Hmm. So it's a blend of technology because we can then mix and blend decentralized and centralized right. fiat technology and new technology, right. and we can blend currency. How, how are you going? How are you looking ahead? <laughs> Uh, towards some of these government regulations that may come into place in some of the areas where you're looking to penetrate. How is your leadership approaching that? That's a great a question. What, what, what we're doing is, uh, we pan I've been 15 years in fintech. So I have two feet solidly placed in the World Economic Forum type of style. I've been here since 2007 to 2012 in my old. So they know me, they trust me. Okay. And I'm telling them this is a bit scary, mm -hmm. but it's it's okay. It's just that you don't know it yet. It's so, scary because they are not informed? Yes. Okay. What you don't know, you fear. Right. That's just right. that right. simple. Right. I used to right. drive submarines for a living. Right. And uh, whenever you talk to people about that, people go, oh, that's scary. It's mm -hmm. just because they don't know the tech. Absolutely. You fly planes. Right. And you trust. How did you know that? Well, you, well, you know, at least you sit on them, yeah. and you don't know necessarily all the details, but it's safe, right? And so, so it's the same type of thing. You is scary, mm -hmm. but, but that's you know, decentralized is made for building trust into the tech. Right? And, and, and blockchain was built to be able to make it easier for people to go from the financial crisis no, right. to a better place. Right. That's what we're trying to right. do. Exactly. So it's a transition. It's not a revolution. It's an evolution. Let me ask you, have you found that financial institutions want to work with you now? And because of the, yes. obviously because of the offerings that they don't find in the, the traditional settings? Yes, you're helping me to go back to your question originally, I'm sorry. Uh, so we started off in Switzerland because I know the regulatory environment in Switzerland and we don't have that ecosystem yet in Norway for blockchain. Okay. It's starting. And then I thought uh, last autumn, that, you know, why don't I do this ICO in Norway? Mm. So I contacted the biggest bank 
I contacted one of the big four. They are, they, we are the only ICO that they are backing. Fantastic. We're working with the Norwegian authorities to create a safe, austere, transparent ICO mm -hmm. runway, mm -hmm. uh, setting a barrier, a standard that other people can follow. Because it's a great, fantastic crowdfunding, mm -hmm. you know, financial uh, vehicle that can help people like me, other people who are good at tech to talk to and get funded by people who understand them. Right. Because uh, the established society of VC, etc., they are, unless you're a big company and they're big dollars, they're not necessarily so uh, patient right. to understand your technology Absolutely. and they're not going to fund you. Absolutely. So this is actually helping people reducing, lowering the barrier to fund great technology. Okay. That's okay. what it's doing. So I love it. Okay. Uh, two things that you would like, uh, two things I would like to know from you. Yes. You're a veteran here yes. in Davos. Yes. How have you seen the fintech and crypto community uh, affected in 2017 by blockchain and crypto? Right? That we're. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. How have you seen Davos welcome the fintech crypto community? Specifically, uh, I would say it's uh, uh, a bit yin and yang. Uh, the the people who are embracing change and continuing to learn and understand that change is the new normal, Thought learning, leaders, learning is the new normal. Mm -hmm. They embrace this. Right. Uh, people who are uh, maybe a bit tired of learning mm. and don't want to relate to new things, uh, and they think it's a bit scary. It's about knowledge, right? So right. again, what I said earlier, what you don't really know, you fear, right? And and this is happening very fast. This is 1995, 2000, again, mm. much more fast, much more aggressive, much more violent in a way, right. but it's beautiful. Okay. And, and and it will be volatile, there will be some bubble crashing, there will be stuff will happen. This is normal. Right, right. Failure is okay. But you just have if to sort learn of, from it. Yes. If you learn. And, and, and everyone I meet in this community, they really want to do good. Right. They really want to uh, lower the differences in society. Mm -hmm. I think it's about humanism. Right. I think it's about actually understanding coexistence and flattening of the world and equal opportunity and diversity is good and okay. Right. And I think that Davos is starting to listen and, and, and hear this song, mm -hmm. but it's a new song and it's a bit scary because it's pushing power uh, power um, constructions and landscape, mm -hmm. so people are afraid they will lose their influence. Uh. Actually, for authorities, for banks, for tax, this is a fantastic technology. Mm -hmm. For um, government, for uh, police, FBI, for example, Absolutely. are out there saying less than one percent white uh, uh, or money laundering in, right. in Bitcoin, right? Uh, in Ethereum, even less. Right. Uh, uh, I just spoke to Ron Resnick, mm -hmm. the new CEO of Inter Ethereum uh, Enterprise Alliance, mm -hmm. Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. He's a great guy, he's a former pilot like me. Ah. I fly planes for a hobby and, and we can understand each other. So this is about um, people, the, the young people being able to directly connect with the uh, more senior crowd. And that's a bit foreign and strange for the more senior crowd. So when I, when I meet the banks, uh, one of the CEOs of the biggest bank in Norway, I met him and he, he, he's, since we know each other, he said, okay, I need a project, I know you, I want to learn. Okay. So he said, yeah, let's start to carefully to do this. It's nice That's to know the friend is, is looking at the regulatory regime, the authorities, and, about, and playing nicely with them as much as you can and much, as much as they will allow. That's refreshing to hear uh, with ICOs. And um, so 2018, yes. the future of 2018, the economy, and blockchain. Ooh, what do you what do you have forecast for us for the future in 2018 blockchain and the economy? Ooh, yes, I went there with that one. So for uh, about eight or ten months ago, I might have the numbers a bit off. Mm -hmm. uh, we had about half as many uh, different cryptocurrencies or digital assets. Mm -hmm. I think we should not talk about crypto. Right. Crypto sounds a bit scary. Right. 
crypto is scary. <laughs> uh, but um, so now they prefer, there's a lot of ICOs, a lot of different tokens coming out. Mm -hmm. That's going to accelerate even faster. Uh, the marketplaces that they are traded is also exploding. Mm -hmm. There will be more. It will continue, but there will be some blowups. There will be some. Uh, there will be some bubbles bursting. But the technology, the decentralized technology, and blockchain is here to stay. Uh, and there will be there will be a bit of turbulence, okay. but they will start to stabilize, and people will actually start dancing along. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to go really, really bad. It's going to hurt a bit. Change hurts, but actually. It's going to be a lot of fun too. All right. Well, thank you so much for that and your time. Thank Hope you. See you soon. See you next year again. Thank you for coming. Stephen Chase with Cointelegraph. Thank you. Thank you.